Hi, and welcome back to another Football Shirt Review. Today, we are looking at the Al Nasser home shirt. Obviously, we have Cristiano Ronaldo printed on this one. Now, I had been shying away from doing a review of this one. Um, I don't know anything in particular about the team, um, and I weren't sure whether the content would go down well, but I've had quite a few people requesting it. So, here it is. This shirt was ordered from gg2.com. It took, I think it was about 15 days to arrive, which is really impressive. The shirt itself comes in a standard bag. On the flip side, we have our usual health warnings. All details for the seller can be found in the description of this video. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how well this one will do, but people have asked for it, so I thought I would get hold of one of the shirts. So if you are new around here, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as I do these reviews on a weekly basis. If you leave any questions, comments or messages below, I'll always respond to you. Um, so all details of the seller will be in the description as well. Um, yeah, I'm just quite in interested to see what this shirt looks like. Um, I know Mr. PM's Footy Shirts has already done a review on this one and looked quite smart. Um, so hopefully um, mine will look equally as good. And I believe Mr. Joshy J is also getting hold of one of these. So there'll be a few of them out there soon for you guys to check out. So what we'll do is we'll get this bag open and let's have a look at the shirt from kitgg2.com. Okay, we're starting at the top of the shirt. Just move around our collar line. A little bit of a loose thread there. I'll say loose thread, just additional stitching that the blue's coming to the yellow. And likewise over here, the yellow slightly got into the blue. Moving down the sleeve, just notice actually we've got a printing on the sleeve. I don't know if I'd actually request this, but Harry's Pizza, that's interesting. Um, it's been heat pressed on and it's got a bit of a, a weird texture to it actually. Very much like a vinyl sort of feel. Um, but it feels like it's been put on well. There is a crease in, in there and that's just where the shirt's within the bag. Moving over to the kit manufacturer. Um, again, heat pressed on. Um, it's up there who it says it is. Danus. Quite possibly pronouncing that wrong. Um, someone let me know. And the El Nasser badge, again, heat pressed on. It feels really nice. It's gone on really well, actually, that one. And it's got some nice, nice icon, that. Shirt sponsor, heat pressed on. God, I don't think I'm gonna attempt, oh, let's go for it. Shurfar, Shurfar. Um, my pronunciation is probably well off, so please do let me know. And then on this side, again, we have another patch. I'll do that one, RSL. Um, I really like the pattern actually on the sleeves. It's got the Al NASA colours, um, but I just think that looks really smart. Looking under the sleeves, nice breathable material. And likewise on this side again, material's really good. Moving down to the bottom of the shirt, we do have our authentic 2223 emblem, which has been heat pressed on. And on this side we have D-Tech heat pressed on as well. So what we'll do is we'll just zoom out and we'll give you the full view of the shirt. It's a nice tidy bit of kit this one. So what we'll do is we'll flip it around and we'll have a look at the back now. Okay, at the back of the shirt. Got along the back, looks equally as good. Um, very breathable up there, look, you can see through it, which is nice. Moving down to the shirt, our Ronaldo printing, which has been heat pressed on. That feels really smooth, actually. You can't tell it's there. For a moment, I did think it was printed into the shirt, but it's not. It is heat pressed on. Likewise, in number seven, gone on really, really well. And we have an image down there. I don't know if I said anything to the um, RSL, maybe, maybe the league or something. Um, pattern is kind of similar. I'm on the hemline. Good. No loose stitching at all around there. Let's just zoom back out. Nice bit of kit, this one. So, shirt is purchased from kitgg2.com. All information of the seller can be found in the description. 
coming out on the inside. The stitching around the collar line looks good. There is a little bit of excess cotton over there, um, but a pair of scissors will soon sort that out. Moving to under the arms, that's been put together really nicely. So you know wearing that. There'll be no issues if you're stretching around. Okay, the Alnasa badge, we said heat pressed on. Look at that, absolutely perfect. No creases at all. Um, manufacturer, looks good. And likewise, shirt sponsor, absolutely perfect on this one. You can just about make how see-through the shirt is. Look, you can see the Ronaldo through it. But I always find that actually being see-through is quite nice because it's definitely light lightweight then. I've got our inside tag. Um, hand wash only, make sure you have the shirt inside out, especially because we've got quite a bit of printing on this one and that will preserve the life of your shirt. DTEC, no concerns there. And where we have our authentic product, like I say, been heat brushed on, absolutely lovely. Just jumping up to look at where the sleeve sponsors were, or the patches. That's just a crease where, say, it's been in the bag, but again, pressed on really well. I think this side feels just as good. I remember this with the pizza side. Um, that's gone on well as well. So we'll just zoom out and we'll give you the full overview of the shirt from the inside. Really nice so far. Oh, actually, I just noticed quite a bit of loose cotton up there as well. But it's just where the joins are, so you can cut them off and there's no concerns at all. Okay, on the final part of the inside, we do have our tag. Exclusive product from alnasastore.com. Regular fit, size XL. Um, likewise, it says XL there. But as of all these sort of shirts, definitely, definitely, definitely size up. So this is going to be more like a large, without a doubt. It's been heat pressed on, it feels nicely. Now we move down to Ronaldo, and you can see just how well that is. You can't even feel it on this side. I said how good it was on the outside, but there's just nothing at all. It's just absolutely smooth. Really fantastic work on this one. All in all, I think this is a really good shirt. So there's the odd bit of loose cotton down right there, but it's just additional cotton, that's all it is. It's not taking anything away from the shirt itself. So without a doubt, be happy with a purchase of this one. I'll just zoom out and we'll give you that full view. Really nice. So I know a few people want to see this one and hopefully upon seeing it, you'll be comfortable if you are going out to purchase one. So there we have it, the Al Nasser home shirt from the 22-23 season. Um, obviously printed with Cristiano Ronaldo on the back. A really nice bit of kit, this one. Um, I know I've said it throughout the video, but absolutely perfect. All the way from the sponsor just being so smooth. The emblems, they've been put on perfectly. Sleeve sponsors, there's creases there, but that's just where they've been in the bag. All in all, this is a fantastic shirt. Um, I really like the colours, actually. It's it's different. Um, there's a pattern in there, which, again, it's just, it's just a nice shirt. Um, and like I said, I had been putting off reviewing this one just because I weren't sure um, what I thought what I thought the the views would be like because it's not an English shirt. It's not um, a well known international team. Well, I, I guess they are more well known now with Ronaldo joining them. But I've had people requesting it, so here it is. And yeah, really, really good. Well done, kitgg2.com. So all details for the select can be found in the description of this video. So if you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. You can leave any comments or questions or messages below. I'll always respond to you. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.